This fall, we've got a whole new team of NCIS agents in Hawaii. And the cast of the new series is simply gorgeous. Keep watching to learn if Noah Mills is dating anyone. Discover if Tori Anderson prefers girls in real life, too. And find out everything about the striking similarities between Vanessa Lachey and her character. It's because she was the best one for the job. It's because she worked the hardest. It's because she wanted it the most. And because she won that position, she earned that position. Let's go! Noah Mills as Jesse Boone Although he's a relatively new face in Hollywood, he's been a big name for a while. Since the early 2000s, he has worked as a model and represented such famous fashion houses as Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, Michael Kors, and more. Noah made his feature film debut in Sex and the City 2, playing opposite, yes, you guessed it, Kim Cattrall. Perhaps he caught the acting bug on set, as he started appearing in short films and TV shows like Two Broke Girls. This spring, he even appeared in the Disney Plus series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And now, he is playing an NCIS expert interrogator. But while fans are impressed with his resume, or rather, let's be honest, his appearance, they're curious if Noah is married. As far as we know, he is single. Still, he's one of those guys who keeps his personal life extremely private. Even on his social media, work takes center stage. There are only a few posts about what he does when he's not shooting. Residing in New York, Mills revealed that there's never a dull day on the basketball court. However, now in Hawaii, when he isn't on camera, Noah's probably shredding waves. By the way, apart from modeling and acting, he's also a businessman. Mills owns an athletic wear brand, which he launched about two years ago. Next, let's move on to the youngest member of the new NCIS team. Yasmin Al-Bustami as Lucy Terra. This beauty has a diverse Jordanian, Palestinian, and Filipina heritage. Yasmin was born in the United Arab Emirates but moved to Texas with her family when she was three years old. So she considers herself an all-American girl, especially as she is a fan of the Dallas Cowboys and line dancing. Yasmin's parents encouraged her to go to university to study finance. However, after getting her degree, Al-Bustami decided to pursue another career in entertainment. She started acting in 2010 and already has an impressive portfolio. Yasmin appeared in John Legend's music video for his song Surefire and the series Nashville and The Chosen. But she is most recognized for her role in The Originals, where she played ruthless Monique Devereaux. However, her character on NCIS Hawaii is a far cry from that wicked witch role. Tara became a memorable element of the premiere when it was revealed that she'd had a past romantic relationship with DIA agent Kate Whistler. And viewers are equally intrigued by the love life of both the character and the actress. Unfortunately for fans, Yasmin keeps the details of her romances super low-key. And despite being on social media, nothing hints at a possible partner. Which is not the case with her co-star. Tori Anderson as Kate Whistler The Canadian actress is taken, guys! Her husband is Mitch Myers, a graphic designer from LA. The two got married in 2018, after eight years of dating. The young couple live an active life and clearly enjoy traveling. Still, although they seem to be head over heels in love with each other, there's one thing they can't agree on. It turns out, they have different tastes in music. While Mitch prefers house music, Tori would rather listen to the Rolling Stones and Johnny Cash. But Tori's husband definitely fully supports her career. She's been acting since she was a teenager and has appeared in more than 30 films and series. One of Anderson's most notable roles is Blake in Blindspot. And of course, she has appeared in a bunch of romantic movies like You May Kiss the Bridesmaid. Next, we're moving on to another charming NCIS actor. Alex Tarrant as Kai Holman as a local, Kai helps his team, blending into parts of the islands when needed. But the actor who portrays him is actually from New Zealand. Until lately, he has been mostly recognized thanks to his role on the soap opera Shortland Street. But that's going to change soon. Apart from NCIS Hawaii, Alex is also a cast member of the upcoming series The Lord of the Rings. However, his favorite role is being a dad. Tarrant and his now fiancé Lucy Hare met at drama school in New Zealand a decade ago and have been inseparable ever since. In 2018, they welcomed a son, whom they named Beaumont. It means beautiful mountain in French, and Lucy says that it came to her in a dream. While Alex and his fiancée are both in the entertainment business, they prefer to keep their life together private. But that doesn't stop Taryn from gushing about his little boy on Instagram from time to time. The happy parents haven't made any wedding plans yet. However, according to Lucy, they have already discussed expanding their family. And the couple are thinking about adopting or fostering a child who needs a loving family, rather than having another of their own. So it's quite possible that Bo will become a big brother one day. 
Now, let's talk about the most experienced actor among the NCIS Hawaii cast. Jason Antoon as Ernie Malik. This cyber intelligence specialist is portrayed by the actor who first became known back in the 90s. His very first role in the musical Contact not only brought him a critical acclaim, but also paved the way to Hollywood. Amazingly, during one of the shows, Steven Spielberg happened to be in the audience. The legendary director was so impressed by Antoon's performance that he cast him in his movie Minority Report. Since then, Jason has appeared in dozens of projects, including Law & Order, Grey's Anatomy, and most recently, in the drama series Claws. In addition to movies and shows, he has also performed in several web series and done voice acting. And that's not all. This year, Antoon and his wife, actress Shana Kofed, co-wrote, directed, and starred in a short film Together Apart. Their two kids also appeared in the comedy about family life in the social distancing age. Jason and Shauna are a very creative couple, and that's something they have in common with another couple, the NCIS lead actress Vanessa Manillo and her husband Nick Lachey. On their Instagram pages, you can see hilarious pictures from their latest Halloween party. We'll tell you more about Vanessa's life just a little bit later. But right now, we can't help mentioning one of the youngest actors among the NCIS Hawaii cast. Kian Talon as Alex Tennant not surprisingly, Kian was in awe when he learned he got the part in such a massive franchise. Talon revealed that he even battled with imposter syndrome for a while, but he also felt an instant connection to his character because he also grew up with a single mother. And there was also another reason why the young actor was excited to play this role. Being cast as Alex meant he had to move to Hawaii. There, he was impressed not only by the climate and great views, but also by the local people and their approach to life. Kian explained that despite being hard workers, they truly value their families and culture. So it was nice to be surrounded with this mindset, especially after living in New York City, where everything is all about the hustle, revealed Talon. Although Kian is only beginning his career, he's already got a number of short films under his belt. Also, his face might be familiar to those who watched the documentary series Brainchild on Netflix. Now, let's finally get to the major star of NCIS Hawaii. Vanessa Lachey as Jane Tennant There's something slightly ironic about a former Miss Congeniality and beauty pageant hostess playing the first ever NCIS female lead. But, in fact, Vanessa has been preparing for this role pretty much her entire life. Born on the U.S. Overseas Air Force Base, she had a tumultuous childhood. As her father was in the military, Vanessa changed schools eight times in nine years. Though it definitely was stressful, it gave her an understanding of the environment her character Jane lives and works in. This is my history. There's a way you stand. There's a way you honor. There's a way that you look at somebody and know what they went through," shared the actress. But she never expected that she would land such a dream role. So when Vanessa got the call about it, she burst into tears. Okay, I'm in the car and I just found out I got the job and I was so happy. <laughs> just like her character, Vanessa is a mother. However, she has not two, but three kids, two sons and a daughter. She shares them with her husband, Nick Lachey, the lead singer of the band 98 Degrees, and the latest winner of The Mass Singer. The couple met in 2006, soon after Nick's divorce from Jessica Simpson. Vanessa appeared in Lachey's music video for the song What's Left of Me, and the two began dating. In a recent interview, the actress revealed that Nick fully supports her career and was happy to move to Hawaii. We definitely do try 50-50, she elaborated. When he's on tour, I try to be home to be there for our kids. When I'm shooting something, he tries to be home. Still, Vanessa was a bit nervous at first to take her whole family out of the mainland. Fortunately, the children are totally happy living in Hawaii. Well, who wouldn't be? That's all we wanted to tell you about the cast members of the latest NCIS spinoff. Don't forget to check out our other videos about the franchise. And thanks for staying super awesome!